This is a brief tutorial on how to uh, use the Skywater open source PDK from Cadence. So if you're a San Jose State student, um, you have access to download um, a tar file of the PDK. Right. So you can, in your Gmail, just download it to where it needs to go. So I've already done that. Right. Now, there might be um, some ownership issues. But anyway, the one you want to uncompress is sky.tar. Sky open is the, the directory in question. Um, it might have the wrong uh, permissions or or the name, so you probably want to just uh, change owner to whatever your ID is. And the file name in question. Let me change into that directory. And I've been doing some things in there and I just copied it. But we have a seashell that we can look at. Sets everything up properly. All right. We have a command to invoke it. Sorry, this was from the previous file. So we source the set license. We source the um, environmental file. Right, this shell starts a C shell, and then we start virtuoso. So it should all work pretty well. Um, so we just type in sky, and it should pop up. So there is something in there already. All right, this is the, these are where all the parts from the, the open source kit. That's an NFET, and you have all those various symbols, NWEL tab, poly connections, things like that. Sky test is the thing I created, and we can just, Open that up and that opened up the simulation. We can open up the schematic, which I'm just going to clear that a little bit. Okay, so launch. The Explorer happens to have an existing view. Okay. And you should too. Um, I have a transient simulation. There's other tutorials that show you how to set it up. All right. This is just for that. So we have, where is it? Simulation, netlist, and run. has been selected. Okay, now we've selected it. There we go. And it works. Now, what I've been struggling with um, and I probably just, again, have to read the manual, is that I was creating a layout, right? Of that inverter, 
and the layers are a little bit unknown to me. This is, I'm still learning the kit. Um, there's a local connect layer, which is what might have been called Metal 1 before. Metal 1 is actually above that. And so I'm still trying to figure out the vias and things like that. But when the other thing is, is when we do uh, like DRC, there's supposed to be a technology mapping file, which I can't seem to find. Um, there's PVL files, but that's, I don't quite know. That just, that looks like, uh, you know, you're configuring what to run and what not to run. So it didn't, um, so there's a, a, in the other PDKs, they have a file that you can do and it sets it all up. And I don't seem to find it, but I think uh, what it is is they have some batch files to run DRC and LVS that you wouldn't run it from, from this. Um, I imagine there's a way, I just have to figure it out. The other design kit um, does have that, but um, there's probably a way, I just don't know yet. But you should be able to, excuse me, do, you know, schematics, right? And I did put some digital parts in there so that when you make a symbol, you can just import you know any one of these symbols so you don't have to redraw your symbols makes it a lot faster I know you can do a create symbol but then everything looks like a box so that should be enough if you know how to use uh, these tools already it should be enough for you to be able to get started with the Skywater open source very clear open source uh, PDK all right that's it have fun